Greetings, Kings. I hope you all are enjoying your Monday. I wanted to get on and speak with you guys about something that I feel is very serious that God revealed to me. Um, and I want to challenge you guys because I feel like for a man, him achieving his best in life is very vital and of utmost importance. Um, and a lot of that is going to be the success that he has in his life when it comes to his vision and his call and his profession. And many of you might be struggling in that position right now. Uh, many of you might be at barely enough. Many of you might be at just above water. And God showed me and spoke to me about some things that in regards to the situation that I kind of want to share with you guys. Um, and this is for those who have ears to hear um, because this message is going to be pretty challenging. So when you think about woman and man, when we go back to the word, when we go back to the beginning, the word says that God breathed the breath of life into man and he became a living soul so man came from God and in turn God took a piece of the man and fashioned a woman and when he brought her to the man the man said this is bone of my bone flesh of my flesh she shall be called woman for she was taken out of man and there's a significance in that being that we as women come from you guys as a whole. Um, when you think about the design of a woman and what she was designed to do by God, by her creator, she was designed to take the seed germinate it in her being and multiply. That was the first command that God gave to both the husband and the wife, the male and the female, the man and the woman. He said to be fruitful and multiply. And how that occurs is the man is the one who has the seed. He is the one who has the potential and what he does is he gives that potential, he gives that seed to the woman. And in a normal biological sense, she takes that, she germinates that, and then she multiplies it. I know we often tend to think that it's mostly in a physical, biological sense. And there is, obviously, that's how humans reproduce and procreate on this earth. But her design is much deeper than that because we as human beings are more than just physical creatures. We are spiritual creatures. We are solical creatures. And when you take that into consideration, it brings that procreative act into a whole different sphere. See, men... Not only have women been designed to take your physical seed, your sperm, and produce a child, to multiply it, and a human being come forth for, from it, even twins, triplets, and so, forth, and so on and so on, but you have to also look at it from a spiritual aspect as well. You have to also look at it from an intellectual aspect, an emotional aspect as well. We are the one who transmutes what you gives us what you give us into reality by our very design by our very nature men listen to me women all women have been designed to take what you give us the seed of what you give us to germinate it within our being and then to multiply it. 
and give it back to you. Give it back to the earth. Give it back to the world. You have to ask yourself, what are the seeds that I'm giving and implanting into the women in my life? Regardless of who they are, regardless of what position they hold in your life, you have to ask yourself that. Because not only do we take your biological seed and reproduce and multiply that and give it back to you, but we also take your emotional seed. We also take your intellectual seed. We also take your spiritual seed. And in the same regard, we will germinate it, become impregnated with it, birth it, multiply it back to you. So listen to this. If you're wondering why you're only here in life, why you're only at a certain standstill and you're never able to soar into a greater level, into a higher advancement, you have to ask yourself, the women that, are, that I'm surrounded by, the women that are in my life, what seeds am I giving to them that is causing them to become impregnated with it, birth it, and multiply it back to me? If I'm giving them non-commitment, if I'm giving them lack of communication, neglect, ego, selfishness, all these things that I'm trying to evade into what's going to make me a greater man, she's going to take what you give her, become impregnated with it, birth it, and give it back to you with interest. There's a reason why if you're stuck, you cannot move past a certain level because God has designed it so that in order for you to reach a certain level of advancement, in order for your vision to achieve a certain level, you have to partner with the right woman who's going to birth and multiply your vision. Who's going to take your seed, take your vision, take your advancement, take your position. She's going to impreg become impregnated with it, birth it, and multiply it back to you. So think about the things that you give women on a day-to-day -day basis. Think about the things that you don't give women on a day-to-day -day basis. No real love, no real commitment, no real faithfulness, no real loyalty, no real honor, no real trust, no real dignity. She is taking all those negative things even in the spiritual realm, remember we are energy at the end of the day in a physical form. So while we act out in physical, we will also act out in the, in the level of energy. She's taking all that negative energy, all that non-committed energy, all that lack of faithfulness, that lack of loyalty, that lack of love, that self-centered energy. And she is becoming impregnated with it. And she's going to birth it and multiply it back onto you. Men, we come from you. We are called warm men, for we were taken from men. But we were not taken from you to abuse, neglect, dishonor, take advantage of, and use for your self-egotistical gain. Because whatever you give us, whatever you give us, whether it be 
lies, manipulation, deceit, uh, empty promises. We are going to take that and birth it right back to you with interest. This is not a tit for tat. This is not an even exchange because we were designed by the very creator to birth the seed that you give us. Men, you have to think about that. I challenge you. That should make you uncomfortable. That should make you reflective. You know, you sit, we sit here and we think I'm a grown man. I'm a grown woman. She a grown woman. She, she go along with it. She don't even know her design to its full capacity. All she knows is she can take a sperm and make it into a baby. But she don't know her design goes so much further than the physical. Her, her ability to manifest and multiply goes so much deeper than your sperm, than receiving your sperm. It's taking your energy. It's taking your spirit, everything you give her, she don't even recognize it. She don't even understand it to its full potential. But that doesn't mean that the law will not continue to operate how the creator made it to operate. In a normal, healthy environment, when you give her your dreams, when you give her your vision, the right woman will take that and she will birth something far greater than you can ever imagine. Men, if you only knew, you know, many of y'all say woman is God. But if y'all only knew, if y'all only knew truly what the woman was capable, if we all knew what the woman was capable of doing. I was listening to R.C. Blake's last night. And he talked about the non-value worth of a woman. I mean, excuse me, the non-sexual value of a woman. And in it, he said, without the woman at the end of the day, the man is just a bag of potential. That's it. You have the seed, but she has the soil. And in, without the other, greatness cannot come forth. I'm talking about true greatness. I believe there's a certain level you can get to, but God has designed it so for, for, for interdependency that you will not reach certain heights without the proper woman to birth your vision, to birth your dream, to manifest your potential, your maximum potential. And he's done it for both of us, for us to realize the interdependent, the interdependentness that we have of each other, that we can't be great without the other. And y'all, y'all have to look in your life and you're wondering why I'm only at a certain level in my job, a certain level in my profession, a certain level in my career, why I lack vision, why I don't know where I'm going. I don't know who I am. I don't know this. I don't know that. Nothing stable, nothing this. What are you feeding the birthers that are around you? What seeds are you implanting in the soil that is around you? Think about that. Think about that. Stop playing with your destiny. Stop playing with your greatness. Stop. You think you're going to get away with it, but you're not. Because the law, there are laws that God have implanted in this universe that must take effect, must operate. And if you break the law, there will be consequences for it. How are you treating the women in your life? Let me tell you something. You can lie to me. You can lie to this person, you can lie to that person, but you cannot lie to God. And you cannot lie to yourself because you know at the end of the day, if you are truly honoring the birthers in your life, 
All women are birthers. All of them. No matter what position they hold in your life, they are all birthers. What seeds are you giving the men? What seeds? Because the seeds that you are giving them, that's what's being multiplied back to you. Be blessed on today. Love you.